Today, we're going to be talking about how to be consistent on social media, but more importantly, why consistency on social media is so important for your visibility. And why if you're not consistent on social media, that's probably why your social media strategy is not necessarily working. So I'm Bex from Social Media Executive, and I provide social media training and support for businesses and I'm joined with a very special guest today Kate Fox um, who's from Fox Graphic Design. Do you want to introduce yourself Kate? Hello everybody good morning oh, no, it's good afternoon um, my name is Kate Kate Fox from Fox Graphics Design and Marketing. Um, I guide businesses to be noticed and uh, raise their game by using design and brand and marketing strategies which ultimately gets them ahead of the competition and hopefully triples them in business. So that's me. Fabulous. And thanks for everyone for saying hello. Hi, Louise. Hi, Amanda. Hi, Emma. If you are watching this on Catch Up or if you're watching this in live, please do give us a like and do um, ask any questions in the chat and just introduce yourselves as well in the comments. We'd love to know who's watching our videos. So consistency then. This is something that I always, always put at the top of my list when it comes to social media success. Basically, if you're not consistent on social media, then you won't be very, very visible. And there's a number of reasons why. Uh, and I know Kate's got a few examples as well to talk about this, but one of the biggest reasons why consistency is so important is a lot of the reasons is because of these robots i call them robots the algorithms it doesn't matter what social media platform you're on if you're not consistent on social media the little algorithms the little robots are actually watching your activity and if you don't post on a regular basis then they're not necessarily going to put your profile your social media profiles at the top of the search engines because you're not being consistent. Social media platforms want to see active profiles. I work with a lot of businesses here, and it's probably the same for you, Kate, but I work with a lot of businesses, they have a week, they're a bit quieter, they do loads of social media posts, which is great, and then they get really busy, and they don't post for three or four weeks. And unfortunately, this inconsistency can massively mm. affect the algorithms because they're watching you basically aren't they yeah so Kate, you're going to talk a little bit about your journey of consistency and why you find it so really valuable okay um on just just before i start on that note i took a week's holiday last all oh, october ish and i did absolutely nothing for seven days and when i came, i thought right, i i've earned this time i'm not doing anything i came back and the first post i put up was as flat as a pancake no engagement no nothing suddenly thought i have to work at this i'm going to have to so i tagged people in and i i massaged it a bit and got it moving um but it took a couple of posts to get it back and up up and running and what it brought to me was one week I had one week off blimey yeah. so you know and there is a button now I've got it on mine and I don't, it's, it's still being rolled out where you can schedule on LinkedIn and I think you can do it on Facebook some of these so at least you've got something going so I just thought I'd pop that it is and it is it's funny isn't it because even a week and you know, know seven days the, the algorithms unfortunately <laughs> Social media platforms want to give their users the best experience and they want to give those those social media profiles who are being consistent and who are being active mm. on a weekly basis. They reward you. They absolutely reward you for your reach. But if you just, yeah, like you say, even a week off. You, can um, it was, I, you know, I can understand if it was three weeks, but a week, blimey. Anyway. It soon got back to normal. So, mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, no, anyway, I've got a few little tips and bits and pieces. I've got some tips and a few examples, um, and I'm wary of time, so I'll just uh, crack on. Um, as, as Beck said, it's all about being consistent on social media. For me, with branding, mixing things up, but ultimately being visible. Um, 
I tend to I tend to mix my posts up, whichever platform I'm on. Um, and I, I try to use humor, authentic posts that show um, show who you really are um, and, and who you are and what makes you tick, uh, why people are attracted to you and your business. And, and these are sort of the, the sort of headings that I, I, you can't do the same type of post every day or every couple of days, whichever platform. Um, I find it's better if you are, it's a bit like a jigsaw puzzle. You're putting in little pieces and okay, some are repeated, but um, a bit of humor one day, being human, um, a little bit about what you do, limited selling about your business, some of your products or your or, or what it is you, obviously uh, on the business platforms like LinkedIn, you know, you, you, you're going to be saying more about, you know, the reason why you're there and what it is you, you're promoting but don't do it every day you know in in people's faces there there is a pattern to doing this um what are the long-term benefits of uh businesses working with you and people being with you in in the business arena um one of my things is uh to, to promote the branding all the time um, you know, even if it's just a, an image with your logo on it, it's a good idea to, to sort of have it somewhere and in the wording. Um, use professional videos um, as well as taking your own when you're out and about to show people what you're doing. I did a post the other week that you know, started with what Katie did next. Well, my mother's the only person who calls me Katie, but it felt right with what I was doing. Um, and I got a great engagement because I thought, yeah, what, what is Katie doing next? And I was out and about in Manchester and I just did a video on my iPhone. But I have professional videos as well. Um, and they, as I say, you mix it up. And the same with photos. Yes, do some snaps and try and, you know, sort of uh, make it authentic and real. But, you know, do have some professional ones as well, if you can. Um, by being consistent and visible, um, one of the case studies that I've got, uh, I've got quite a few, but one in particular is that I, uh, unbeknown to me, over the past sort of 18 months, two years, one of my connections, um, he engaged on one a few of my posts, but he um, he was watching me. And I think Bex has mentioned this before, called Lurkers. Um, he's not really a lurker, but he was getting the whole picture of who I am as a person, what my business is, what it is I do. And I got a message one day, totally out of the blue. And um, he said, I really need to talk to you. I think we need we, we need your expertise. We need you on board. Um, he was involved with a, a new startup business. And um, it, it's, it's a massive one we're hoping will take off in the next sort of 18 months or so. Um, and I've ended up being an NED, a non-exec director for that company. And they're a fantastic team. And um, and and basically, yes, I met this person um, networking face to face. But we created and built up a relationship um, and uh, through social media and maybe the odd email here or there. But um, but the, the outcome is that I ended I have I have ended up being a non-exec director for a very you know. A, super exciting company and there are lots of other case studies and examples of this where people are with social media it, it's it i feel it's um about building relationships it's a bit like face to face but um i think people do we're all human at the end of the day and we like to get to know people and it's the old know like and trust and it's a long-term thing so, yes, you'll get a quick hit, just the same as you go and, and, and talk to um, a room full of people and somebody is ready to purchase and they're ready to talk to you and you just happen to be there. That's great. And that's that, that, that happens on social media. But generally, I believe it's about um, building the relationship, getting uh, the, the, the no like and trust and educating them about and and about who you are and what you do so that's my um take on it um and it's interesting so you want to add in that? yeah so 
because there's two angles to this consistency isn't there um and there's sam she's put a really interesting question in in the chat we would so there's two areas really of consistency there's one that's pleasing the social media platform so making sure we're posting regularly so that the plat yeah. social media platforms can see we're regular we're, you know we're there but also what you've just talked about as well is for the second reason is making sure that we are visible to our potential customers or people who might our partners potential referral partners you know and, and sam's asked a really interesting question that i thought was interesting do you not feel as though we're being held slightly to ransom by the social media platforms because we were talking about we've got to be consistent to mm. please the social media algorithms and you know and then, i think that's a really good question because it is a balancing yeah. act and at the end of the day what it we've is. got to remember is that the social media platforms are trying to give people the best experience on social media so they are trying to give them the best content so there's a completely different argument around being consistent and constantly posting which is what you touched on kate wasn't it so you've got to be consistent and consistently post so that you're consistently showing up in your potential people's news feeds and also pleasing the algorithms and it's not necessarily that we're being held to ransom it's just simple marketing at the end of the day if we're showing up all the time we're not necessarily yeah. you know we're, we're being more visible than some of our competitors but like you yeah. just mentioned if you're constantly posting stuff like sales posts and things like that then actually that can be of a detriment to you to your strategy as well because you're not necessarily getting any engagement on your posts so then the platforms mm. will go well they might be posting a lot but no one's liking the stuff so we're still not gonna share their profiles very widely because nobody's interested in it and I think also it depends also so I can say it depends also if it's on the business profile or your personal profile depends if you're they're different business. animals and they, they operate differently mm, yeah um, sorry say. <laughs> but like but like you said so so we aren't necessarily being held to ransom although sometimes we feel that we do we are because we can create fantastic content that we think is fantastic what actually we've got to remember is is that actually the social media platforms are actually helping us in a way because if we put content out there that nobody likes then it's telling us there's no point you're doing stuff like that because nobody likes it mm -hmm. um but yes there's a different strategy whether you might be on linkedin twitter facebook instagram yeah. or things like that that you need to think about but i think being consistent is completely different to constantly posting we've always got to be aware of who our target market is and who you know which platform we're on and how we're using our content to to communicate like you said okay build trust with our customers okay exactly and and leading on from what um sam was sam was saying about being held to ransom um I have felt that myself over the past few years where you learn how to do it as the marketing side, and that which leads into, you know, Bex trains people how to um, get that balance. Something I think my internet keeps dropping. I keep going funny on the, on the screen. Sorry about that. Um, I, think that, uh, I, th I think that I think that it's a 50 50 thing you have to learn how to use the platforms and that's where bex trainings come comes in and she'll give you the tips and help you to not feel that you've been held to ransom and to be able to not be overwhelmed by it because it is overwhelming and every platform is totally different and they have all these rules and then they flip and change them you learn it <laughs> and then they go oh we'll change it all now oh that does work now we we like that now we don't like that and that yeah. is very irritating. <laughs> yeah. But it going is, on to it was the, the training. Um, also, um, Bex has got the um, the social flock where she can support and help, which she's going to talk about in a second. And ultimately, at the end of the day, if you absolutely don't want to do any of it, we have packages so that you you literally 
don't have to do anything except for help us set up and maybe give us some of the content, but we'll do it all and just hand you the leads. And that is the ultimate cop out, really. But I think it's called social media management. But at the end of the day, the point that Bex is saying is that, um, and I've been banging on about, is that social media is here to stay. It is part of your marketing. And unfortunately, if you're in business, you do need to do it. So find the right way for you to be comfy and not feel um, that you're um, har harangued and harassed and stressed by it. Um, and in whichever package or way that works for you, then do that. And then, um, so that was my, my sort of point about uh, at the end of the day, it's here, we have to do it. Yeah, yeah, it is. And Sam's actually said she agrees wholeheartedly with, wholeheartedly with consistency in relevant posts. I suppose she feels that small businesses trying to manage everything are then mm -hmm. penalised um, uh, by Facebook for not posting for a week or two. It is. And unfortunately, yeah. social media is so competitive these days. It really is very, very competitive market. Ten years ago, we could get away with maybe just doing what a post a fortnight and we'd get good reach. But because most businesses now are on social media, we're fighting for, for airtime, basically, for view time and, and in people's feeds. Um, so it's getting a simple strategy. And I think that's the most important thing. It's not thinking, oh, crikey, this is just impossible because it's not. It's just getting a simple strategy to go, right, OK, consistent posting doesn't mean every day. It really, really doesn't. Consistent posting could be once or twice a week, you know, and it's really using the tools that are there to help you, the scheduling tools that, that Kate's mentioned, so that you can go, right, okay. So, for, for example, in the social flock, um, we, it's a really good support group that supports people with their content to help them be consistent. So every Monday, we all come together and we write our posts. So we'll write three posts for the week. We'll come on Zoom and we'll write them all together. We're accountable to each other to get it done. And then we can sit back, relax for the rest of the week, knowing that we know we've at least got three posts going out there every week. And we've got some really, really good results. So we've got a really nice mix of businesses that are on the social flock from all different sectors, from all different sizes. And actually those that are now posting consistent content are significantly increasing their reach on social media after three months. It's actually quite phenomenal mm. some of the people are getting for just being consistent. But I think the most important thing is don't overthink it. Use those tools there to help us. Don't see it as a big, like, oh, social media is here to, to, you know, to put all these, you know, building blocks in the way it's not really it's a phenomenal tool if you are consistent I came out when we came out of lockdown I obviously consistently post probably about three times a week maybe a bit more if I've got a lot on and when we came out of lockdown I went to my first networking session it was a big room it was about 150 people and everyone kept going up to me and going oh wow Bex you've been really busy during lockdown haven't you wow you know all these this is amazing things you're doing and these people had never, ever liked any of my posts, mm -hmm. let alone commented on them. I didn't even know they were seeing my stuff. So it just shows you how powerful it is, even when you get really, really disheartened, going, oh, my goodness, my post only reached 60 people. If it reaches 60 people who are actually invested and interested in what you're doing, then actually it can have quite a profound effect. It doesn't have to meet thousands of people. Okay. So those are a few. Have you got any more sort of closing tips on, on consistency, Kate, before we finish? Not, not to get too stressed about it all. Um, mm. It's, I think, I think I've covered most of the things that I was going to say, but I think that at the end of the day, um, oh, don't, get, don't get disheartened if you put a post up and nobody... Nobody, nobody does anything. It just is totally flat. Um, it's not personal. I think, oh, that is my biggest tip. None of this is personal. Mm. Not get upset about it. it and the, and the other thing is to pick, if, if you're a small business, and work out where your audience is and concentrate on that platform. Excuse me, I think, <clears throat> excuse me and I know Bex talks about this. Um, 
master one, don't try and do scatter gun and master all of them because they're all a totally different animals and yeah. the methods and the rules and the way you do it. I mean, Facebook is not my favorite. I actually set up a business so that um, selling um, products during, um, <clears throat> excuse me, during lockdown, um, maybe to make a bit of money, but mainly so I could learn how to do it. <laughs> because I was getting clients that were coming to me saying, can you do this with B2C? And I was on Facebook and I'd go, oh. Uh, so I learned my, you know, by experience. And I, I think I, once I did my first live with a, a, a mud face pack on my face with people watching me, uh, all sorts of people. After that, I didn't care. And mm -hmm. I just, you know, and don't be afraid to just use your iPhone and do a little video um, and to do a little bit, you know, um, yes, have professional videos, but um, I, I, I quite happily will do a little broadcast on with a background of where I am, what's going on, say hi to people. And that works quite nicely. And, you know, don't be afraid to do it. And at the end of the day, if it's rubbish, do it three or four times until you're happy and then post the one you're happy with. Yeah. So, yeah. Just so mixing it up, isn't it? We've got a question, actually, oh. as well. Can I just ask, please, I'm getting loads of personal connections which are not my target market. I don't know what to do with them. Um, so this must, I assume, is on LinkedIn. So no, it's Facebook user. Uh, yeah, they're on Facebook. They're asking a oh. question, I would have thought. Oh, it could be Facebook. Well, we'll, we'll Facebook. cover both. We'll cover both. We'll cover both. So on Facebook, I always suggest um, you keep your personal profile private for your friends and family. OK, it is Facebook. Thank you. Right. OK, so um, I get a lot of people connecting with me on Facebook asking to be my friend. You have to friend people on Facebook. I personally don't accept those um, simply because of one security and two our personal feed is is out of work time okay if you try and use your personal feed on facebook to promote your business and products you're potentially going to get your profile shut down because that's not what it's for facebook wants you to use pages therefore i um i actually don't accept many many friend requests on facebook certainly don't accept friend requests from people I don't have never heard of mm -hmm. because as soon as you accept that they've got access potentially to all your personal information okay um so always use your pages um if you have got um personal personal connections again or friends friends on your Facebook profile who are not really your friends then I just remove them just unfriend them they don't get a notification they're not going to know um, and I just go through and unfriend those with Facebook. Your strategy has got to be either creating an influencer, a personal influencer page, which you can do. You can create your personal profile into and convert it into an influencer page if you want to do that. But really, your your strategy on Facebook should be using the business page. Hope, hopefully that, that answered that question. Um, so, yeah, so that's just a few tips on being consistent. Again. We've given you a few examples of how it does work. This doesn't happen overnight. Social media mm. doesn't happen overnight. It's a long term strategy. OK, so mm -hmm. really, really do think about being consistent. If you can't, like Kate said, if you're struggling and you haven't got much time, just focus on the one platform where your target market is likely to be hanging out and do two to three posts a week on that and grow that slowly over time with the right followers. That's going to give you much more gain. Also, you know, if you haven't got that much time, use the scheduling tools, but you have to be posting at least every week in order for any sort of social media growth on any really sort of social media strategy. But we can guarantee if you do it on a regular basis and you're getting a bit of engagement, people are seeing you. More people are seeing you than you actually think. So try mm -hmm. not to get this fondant. And if you do need some help and support with your content ideas, um, accountability to get those social media out, then please do come, come and join the social flock. And if you do need some more help from Kate as well, um, I'll put her details in, in the chat. And, and please do get in contact with Kate. Kate does social media management as well as 
graphic design and, and strategy as well. So I'll put her details in, in the chat as well. So thank you very much for joining us today, Kate. It's been an absolute pleasure. Um, and thank you for having me. You're very welcome. Um, we'll be back live next week, sharing lots more social media tips and advice as part of the social vlog. So we look forward to seeing you all next week again at 12.30. And thank you, everyone, for saying hello. And again, if you're watching this and catch up, please do give this video a thumbs up. Give us a like. Give us some engagement. Um, and ask any questions. We will come back to any questions if anybody's watching this on the catch up as well. So have a great week, everybody. And uh, see you next week. Thanks for having see me. Bye. Bye.